let's move it on to the next stories of the night. All right, that's a hint, Brendan. That's a hint. When I say that stories. Was stories. And that'll be our quick hits of the night. If I can find it. There we go. Okay, so the, for the first quick hit. World of Warcraft, uh, the movie is coming to Comic-Con, so apparently they're going to have a panel. Uh, hopefully show a little bit of a trailer footage, because that movie is due out sometime next year, I believe. Um, so I'm interested to see that. Oh, it's a World of Warcraft one, not a Warcraft one? Yeah, no, I was kind of disappointed about that, too. Uh, I think just having a Warcraft where humans are battling the orcs in a giant battle would be better, but it is going to be a World of Warcraft movie. All right. Well, uh, I guess because at this point that's the far more popular thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, but yeah, so let's move it on to the next quick kid. And that is The Last of Us is getting a one night only uh, stage rendition of The Last of Us. Or did I already say Last of Us? I already did. But that'll be in Los Angeles, uh, I believe, next month. So they're making a play out of a video game. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, that's first I've heard of that, but cool. And Last of Us was apparently an awesome game, and I'm waiting to get it until I get my PS4, and then I'm going to get the remastered version on that, and hopefully it'll be just as good as everybody says it is. It better so. be. <laughs> better be. But let's move it on to the next quick hit. And that is FIFA has added uh, an American athlete to the cover, uh, and this is really just for the Americas. Um, Clint Dempsey will be alongside Lionel Messi, uh, on the cover. And now this is Lionel Messi's, I believe, fourth year in a row, maybe third year in a row on the cover. So I think they just wanted to spice things up a little bit. It's getting kind of old seeing the same guy on there over and over. And you can't tell which year you bought. So. And Clint Dempsey, that's, that's our okay. best I don't know if you've heard, but FIFA, or whichever company makes the FIFA games, has yeah. been caught a couple times. Yeah, they have been caught um, releasing the exact exact same game and just the putting a different year on it like mm -hmm. and new stats and stuff yeah change the rosters or anything yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if some of the Madden games were like that or anything like that cuz I, mean, I mean how much the Madden games they definitely change the rosters every year well, but, yeah yeah but mm, so mm. At, at least they do something you know? <laughs> yeah yeah but let's move it on to the next quick hit and that is Dwayne The Rock Johnson has recently been teasing that he will be teaming up with DC to be a superhero. Now, nobody's quite sure which superhero he was, but recently he was uh, doing a junket somewhere, um, and he teased that he might be a, as powerful as Superman, and it only takes one word to unleash his powers. So... Shazam? Yes, yes at least. Uh, Shazam seems a logical fit for him, but is he going to be both... The small guy and Shazam, or because because Shazam is a kid, right? That transforms into Shazam when he says Shazam, and um, so I'm wondering how they're maybe, gonna play that. Maybe he got older at some point in the comics. I don't know. Yeah, but right. He, he was a kid for a while, so. Yeah, I mean, he he wouldn't be that big and buff all the time unless he can just stay in Shazam form all the time. Because I believe it's magic that turns him into that powerful of a person. So. Yeah. yeah you know who I think would be make a better Shazam. Who's that? Shaquille O'Neal. Ah, uh, so he made the best. Co he was a Shazam, wasn't he? He was something. It was something like like a weird like. Kabam magical. or Shazam or Sh Shakabzam? Shakabzam? <laughs> it might have been. I don't know. Like, I don't remember <laughs> what that. Yeah, let us know in comments down below. What was called Shazam? Actually, I think it was Shazam. Yeah, where he was like. But it was a, a different Shazam. He was like a genie Shazam or something. Like yeah, that. and like this little kid was like, "I want candy," and he made candy. Like he almost drowned this kid in candy. Like that. Yeah, it's kind of dang. Careful, what you wish for from Shakazam. That's what I'm going to call him from now on, Shakazam. Whether that's his real name or not. But yeah, let's move it on to the last quick hit of the night. And that is that Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, I should say, uh, came in the box office number one again this week with $36 million. That brings its two-week total up to $139. Uh, coming in next was pur The Purge, Anarchy, um, which only cost about $15 million to make, made about $26 million in its first week, so... Success okay. there already. Then you have Planes, Fire, and Rescue. That was an interesting one coming in third with $18 million. And 
rolling up uh, the top four would, was Sex Tape. That was a Cameron Diaz movie with Jason Segal, and everybody thought that was going to be really big, and it totally flopped, only making $15 million, So Only making $15 million? I wish I was making $15 million. Well, but then again, I don't know how much they put into this, so maybe they're making. I bet you they put close to like fifty to hundred million in there, so they got to make up some ground. Yep. Yeah. But I didn't think that movie was gonna be too good anyway, so I wasn't interested in seeing it at least. I did hear uh, Dawn of the Apes was good though. I can know some people saw it. So. Still do want to see that one myself. I haven't seen that one quite yet. Um, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I think they could have cut out about an hour of that movie and it would have been better, but I think. That was a setup movie so that this movie could really go off. So well, I was hearing you don't even really need to watch uh, uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes to enjoy Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. They they do a few little short uh, flashbacks, explain what happened, like whatever. Let's get going. Caesar got this chemical in him, and then he gave it to other monkeys. Let's go. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that would be that. Uh, but that was our quick hits of the night. Remix. And that was really close there, Brendan. <laughs> Every time he slashed, he came closer. That's like my move. You just stole my move, man. Like, that's my patented move. Can you patent a move? My copywritten move. Can I copyright a move either? I don't know if I can do any of those things. I you can't, up. because it's clearly mine. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, so let's... And I got the Chewbacca Shade Souls behind me this time. That's true. Yeah. Usually he's got my back and I can talk all the types of trash, but... He is hanging out with you right now, so... Ooh, yeah, that is your move, Brendan. I give it to you. I saw this guy. Here we go, man. Relax, buddy. But, uh, yeah, so let's move it on to the last story of the night, and that is our video game segment. Um, and recently, id Software, uh, along with Bethesda, I believe it is owned by Bethesda. It's one of the developers, so Bethesda is the big publisher. It is the... You guys know how that works. What do you think? Um, Hmm? No, that's what I think. I'm pretty sure, though. Um, they've announced uh, that there will be, at this year's QuakeCon, that there will be a new Doom coming out. And it, back in 2008, we heard rumors uh, that Doom 4 had been started in development. And then back in 2011, Bethesda came out and said, hey, you know what? We were working on that Doom 4. Yeah. We're going to scrap the whole thing, start it over. And this is the first time we've heard about what's going on since they've scrapped the old project. And apparently, this new Doom game will just be a reboot of the series, and we'll start you over from uh, Mission 1. So uh, yeah, That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, by the way, before people like jump on us... Um, they're not owned by Bethesda. They're owned by. They're now. They've been acquired by the company that owns Bethesda. That acquired Bethesda a while back. Zenimax. Mm-hmm. So you're you're close. They're not under Bethesda. They're under Zenimax, who Bethesda is also under. So. So it, they're under the same umbrella then. Yeah. Right, so. There you go. But yeah. So I mean, Doom is one of the classic games. A lot of people really. Now, everybody knows Wolfenstein 3D was the first real one of these FPSs, and it was a which really was cool game. Um, yeah, which was also by id. Yeah, which was also by id. But really, Doom was what kicked off the FPS genre um, as a whole, I, I would say. And that was back in the early 90s, and that was a PC-only game, if I remember correctly, when it no, came no, out. They, yeah, well, when it came out, probably. Um, but it was ported to, like, just everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, everything like, and anything. Yeah, I think there was even, like, a Sega CD port of it. Like that's um, I know there was at least a Sega 32X, and if you remember the old 32X is the extra thing you'd put oh, on the yeah, top. Yeah. Uh, so there was a Doom 32X, I believe. So that, that was interesting. But Doom, I mean, it was a pretty cool game. Now, I, I didn't love it when I was a kid, but you know what? I certainly loved everything that it spawned. Uh, now, when Doom kind of fell off the map, you had Quake step in and take over. Again, and I loved game. <laughs> yeah, and I loved Quake. I mean, Quake was the first game that I remember ever playing online multiplayer. And I'm talking back in the mid-90s playing online yep. multiplayer with that. Yep, uh, Capture the which, Flag, Quake 2. That was just that was just so good. Like, I remember playing that too. That was just awesome. Like, Quake yeah, 2, was, Capture the Flag. It was one of those first arena games, which then Unreal Tournament came through and kind of broke the mold and made that into their own thing. So, uh, But it, it was the start. I mean, you could honestly say we would not have things like the Unreal Engine, possibly, if Doom didn't start off that whole franchise because the Unreal Engine was developed for Unreal Tournament. Um, and 
where would we be without Doom? I mean, nobody would have been like, uh, yeah, we don't want one of those games. It hasn't worked before. So it, it really was one of the classic games, and I loved the Doom game franchise for the same reason I kind of loved the Wolfenstein, because it wasn't just a straight up, all right, there's an enemy, I'm going to shoot him, you're dead. There was an exploration factor to it, kind of eh, harkened to some of the Zelda games. You had to go through, find secret passages, different little special items you could get here and there. They definitely still incorporated bosses. Yeah. What was that? It wasn't a super easy game either. Yeah. Oh, no. No, that that game was hard. And I remember it was the first, one of the first times I really could type in cheats, and everybody remembers uh, God Mode, and where you just hit God Mode in there, type God Mode in there, and it was just like, hey, sweet, I can destroy everything. And that was a lot of fun. But Doom, they're, they're coming back, and the last time we really saw Doom, I want to say, was actually the Doom movie. And that was, I think I said Dune. I meant Doom movie, and that was with The Rock. So that was one of his first for, forays. Hmm. Hmm. My speaking language ain't so good right now. But yeah, Doom 3 came out in 2004, so it's been 10 years. Yeah, right? so... 10 years since the, since the last... Uh, a f- well, the Doom, Doom the movie, when did that come out? That was like 2004, 2005. So that was the last like Doom project. And that was pretty horrible because they tried to do a lot of first person with the shooting in that movie. It was just like, no, not working so much. Big, they, a little too, uh, too strict of a interpretation of a video game into a movie, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, but I, I am kind of interested to seeing this because if you don't know about the franchise, the basic story is we're in the future. Uh, humans have started a base on Mars. There's a way to get from Earth to Mars almost instantaneously, and some of this technology has somehow opened up a gate to hell that was on Mars, and you have to go to Mars and defeat hell. So, I mm-hmm. mean, it's yeah, it's a pretty cool concept, I mean, if you ask me. And, and it's just going to look even better and better with all the new graphics. And I wonder if they're going to keep it the same straight up, you know, just shoot them up, or if they're going to add some other elements to it, so maybe some survival horror elements to it that haven't always been there. Uh, I look at the Dead Space games, and that was one of my favorite survival horror games of all time, and maybe they'll bring some of those elements, because they are pretty similar, you know, hell's coming out, <laughs> you know, so the, it, it, I'll be I'll be very curious to see what's going to go on with that, but th- it is supposed to be released within the next year or two, so yeah, look out for that. But, you know, let us know what you think about the new game, Doom game. Are you a really big fan of the Doom franchise? Do you want to see more games, or do you think they should have left it alone? Hit us up in comments down below. Of course, at Words My Face on Twitter, Words My Face at gmail.com, and, of course, Google Plus and Facebook. We're there. We're everywhere. You can't miss us. Well, you can, but that's because you're not looking. Why aren't you looking? That doesn't make any sense. You better be looking because there might be a Chewbacca chainsaw on your... Anywhere. <laughs> no one expects a Chewbacca chainsaw. But yes.